Hi there, I am Jane Ann Terzillo, and I am the author of seven books, actually. My most recent book is Wicked Women of Ohio, and the next most recent book is Unsolved Murders and Disappearances in Northeast Ohio. Both uh, were Agatha nominees. I'm not sure that women back then had any different reasons for doing things than the ones that do it today, although I don't know. I'm not a sociologist, so it's hard to say. There's always a reason why they took, you know, the wrong turn. Uh, there was one woman that was an axe murderess, and I think she was an axe murderess because she had postpartum depression. And you see, that was something back, and this was back in the 18, uh, 1890s, and it was something that was not even thought of back then. Women were often put in uh, insane asylums because they were going through menopause. And they were, you know, so they were, they were crazy. And they weren't crazy, they just, you know, needed some hormone replacement. <laughs> a lot of them, um, you know, some man was, you know, was wrapped up in it. That uh, uh, there was, you know, love gone wrong <laughs> somewhere. I, I have chosen to write true crime most often because I enjoy the investigation. Uh, I'm looking over the policeman's shoulders, you know, I'm, I'm digging up facts, and I just enjoy the, uh, I enjoy the ride. I find the crimes that I write about in a myriad of, of ways. Sometimes people come up to me and they tell me about a crime. Other times I see it in an old newspapers and I go through those. Um, I might see something in a book somewhere, there's just, you know, there's no one way. My research process is uh, different for every single, uh, every single case. I try to track down um, family members if I possibly can. Of course, I, I use the libraries, I use the old time newspapers, I use historical societies, I use police uh, records, court records, uh, cemetery records, baptismal records, the, you know, the census, anything that, you know, anything that I can. I couldn't write without libraries I just, and librarians. I just, the librarians are the rock stars of, of research as far as I'm concerned. I'm writing a book on robberies and heists right now. And I have uh, a robber who had several aliases and I couldn't find out what his real name was. And I knew that, I knew when he died and where he died but I couldn't find his death certificate. And so there's a librarian in, in Akron uh, who helped me, and she was able to come up with the, uh, uh, with the death certificate simply because she spelled it in a different way, spelled the name in a different way. Are there any other true crime writers whose work you admire? Well, uh, yes, I like Rob Sperna. Um, I like James Renner. Um, I like, uh, you know, Brad Ritka do, uh, wrote the book, um, Mrs. Sherlock, I can't think of the, you know. And Superboys. Yes, I like that a lot. Um, and there's another book that I just read. It's called Chasing, Chase Darkness With Me. It's by Billy Jenkins. And it's about how he helped to solve unsolved murders and crimes by Facebook. Yeah, I'd love to write a, a Western. I'd love to, but I, I don't know that they, I don't know that they sell that well. So, and I would have to go out there. I have to, when I write about a place, I have to go. You know, I can't just, I can't just look at pictures in the book or, you know, read about it. I have to go. My favorite place to photograph by far is, is uh, in New Mexico. It's just, it has the most beautiful light. You know, the color of the buildings is, that, that adobe is such a, a beautiful, soft color. And I, I love everything, you know, cowboy and, uh, and Indian, and so I photographed a lot out there. I, I don't know, I just, you know, I've loved Wyatt Earp <laughs> since I was a kid. I just, so I, you know, when I got this little beagle, I named him Wyatt Earp, and when I got the German Shepherd, I named him, what else, Doc Holliday.